Some of you have a lot of men in your life, but none of them is strategic enough for your destiny. Quality strategic men, I bring them to your life now. Forget about acquisition. Acquisition is tertiary. The primary goal of lifting, use it quickly. Oh, fire! Let your mind be holy, God's fire! God, therefore, I decree and declare over every one of you here, those connecting online, that in the name of Jesus Christ, the spirit of fear loses its hold over your life now. The spirit of fear loses its hold over your life now. I cleanse your mind from the influence of fear. In the name of Jesus Christ. Deuteronomy chapter 20 please from verse 1 reading to 4. 21 to 4 Deuteronomy. It says wherefore Deuteronomy 21 to 4. It says when thou goest out to battle against thine enemies and seeth horses, chariots and a people more than thou. It says be not afraid of them for the Lord thy God is with thee which brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Verse 2. And it shall be when you are come nigh unto the battle that the priest shall approach and speak unto the people. Verse 3. And it shall say and it shall say unto them here O Israel ye approach this day unto battle against your enemies it says let not your hearts faint fear not and do not tremble neither be terrified because of them why for for the lord your god is he that goeth with you to fight for you against your enemies and to save you therefore i decree and declare everything that has overwhelmed you maybe bills maybe a negative report the situation you have found yourself and we found ourselves as a nation the reality of the times in the name of jesus i remind you again and prophetically speak to you that god has gone ahead of you that god has gone ahead of you in the name of jesus christ god has gone ahead of you Deuteronomy 27 and verse 14. This was a prophetic word that came to my spirit for someone. Deuteronomy 27 and verse 14. Hallelujah. It says, And the Levite shall speak and say unto the men of Israel with a loud voice. Uh huh. It says, Cause be the man that maketh. Did I get that right? Cursed be the man that maketh any graven or molten image an abomination unto the Lord, the work of the hands of craftsmen, and put it in a secret, and all the people shall answer Amen. Please listen. This is a word for someone. Give, leave verse 15. You are about to compromise and dabble into all kinds of satanic things because it looks like serving God does not pay. And people are already introducing things. Bring this charm to your house. Add this one. After all, it's just a spiritual thing. The Bible says, when you make anything that is not of God and put it in the secret in hope that it will help you, the jealousy of God itself will fight. Therefore, I decree and declare, every temptation towards compromise, to bring any other idol and to bring any other extra biblical practice because you are looking for help, I declare in the name of Jesus you overcome that temptation now you overcome that temptation now you overcome that temptation now in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah praise the name of the Lord in Philippians chapter 4 and verse 19 Paul spoke over the Macedonian church and he says but my God shall supply how many all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus let me speak that over your life this week in the name of Jesus my God may he supply all your needs my God may he supply all your needs my God may he supply all your needs in the name of Jesus Christ I heard a very humbling testimony that was sent to me I think it's a woman I don't know if she's here but sent me a testimony they were crying already owing and whilst they were just praying and meditating that she was led or so
to go out to a shop and she was looking gloomy and she just stumbled across someone who had known her for a long time who she had helped as a primary school teacher he had now become a real estate person he saw her identified her greeted her and called her gave her a house immediately listen let me speak over your life again make sure you believe what i'm saying may my god supply all your needs may my god supply all your needs may my god supply all your needs for someone may my god surprise you in the name of jesus christ genesis chapter 26 from verse 12 this may be an instruction for someone the bible says and isaac sowed in that land money is not the only thing you sow you can sow yourself dig yourself into knowledge bury yourself and Isaac sowed in that land but for someone it can be a prophetic instruction listen let me tell you I know that people have made all kinds of abuses about finances but can I tell you sacrificial giving is a mysterious principle even in the times of hardship I'm not telling you things that I I that I just read about this is my life that in the time of famine he sowed in that land and received so was receive so was receive a hundredfold and the lord blessed him verse 13 the bible says the man works great in famine he went forward he grew until he became very great the famine notwithstanding i decree and declare in the name of jesus christ in this season while others are saying there is a casting down let me release a word over someone rise to a new level rise to a new level rise to a new level in the name of jesus christ every time i have the opportunity to speak over your life i must speak favor i wish i have the time to give you personal testimonies last week to this week god did something in my life that almost left me in tears and i said god i know you as a mighty god but you never stop bringing surprises to men this is something, look, let me tell you, when God decides to place his grace upon your life, your life becomes an unending wonder. I want to pray from the depth of my heart. This is my assignment. I'm not preaching. Mine is for you to receive. If you like, you can look around and be doubting. If you like, you can open your heart sincerely and receive and allow God to change your life. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus Christ, May the mantle, the unction, the anointing that distinguishes you and compels men to come and bless you. I release that grace upon you now. Receive that grace now. Receive that grace now. Upon your head, receive it now. Upon your hands, receive it now. Upon your feet, receive it now. One more time. Upon your head, receive it now. Upon your hands, receive it now. Upon your feet, receive it now. I say it again. Upon your head, receive it now. Upon your hands, receive it now. And upon your feet, receive it now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen. The grace upon your head is for illumination and understanding. The grace upon your hand is for productivity. And the grace upon your feet is for direction and speed. Now you understand what I'm releasing. In the name of Jesus, upon your head, let this grace rest upon you. Upon your hands, may this grace rest upon you. Upon your feet, let this grace rest upon you. Koinonia, I declare one more time. Upon your head, may this grace rest upon you extraordinary illumination by the spirit upon your hands may this grace rest upon you and upon your feet receive speed and direction in the name of Jesus Christ it says and I will give you a wisdom and a mouthpiece that your adversary will not be able to gain say nor resist I place something upon you that from today as you speak in the name of Jesus 
those who have what it takes to bless you may they hear you as you speak those who have what it takes to help you may they hear you two more prayers two more prayers Kalish Paru Kaduskie Paru Dashala Toskabi Embra Gadoja Lakosa Bragadi Hallelujah In Acts chapter 27 and verse 22 they were with Paul going to a place called Crete and there was a storm and the Bible says as a result of that storm they lost their properties the ship was about to capsize and they were about to lose their lives and Paul stood up and said and now I exhort you be of good cheer for there shall be no loss this just came into my spirit now I want to speak to someone from the way things look right now it looks like you have lost money it looks like you have lost your place you have lost the job but i stand under this apostolic and prophetic mandate and i declare there shall be no loss koinonia global there shall be no loss not of your life not of your properties not of strategic relationships there shall be no loss there shall be no loss in the name of Jesus final declaration over your life and I want you to please listen carefully I will always make reference to John 5 the man who was crippled for 38 years he was there lying down when Jesus came to him and said do you desire to be healed he said I have no man that was his problem you may have talent but do you have a man to help you you may have your gift but do you have a man every business needs a man every ministry needs a man there are people who are anointed but those to declare them to the nations they have not encountered them I love it every time I declare to call men because let me tell you men are very relevant when it has to do with your rising and your shining are we together no matter how graced and gifted you are even if you are Jesus alone without a man will only leave you in pain and tragedy therefore I decree and declare the strategic men some of you have a lot of men in your life but none of them is strategic enough for your destiny quality strategic men I bring them to your life now quality strategic men I bring them to your life now quality strategic helpers financiers announcers I bring them to your life now hallelujah